Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you about installing Ruby on OSX. Now, one of the great things about OSX is it actually comes pre-installed with Ruby. So basically, you don't actually need to install it. You should just already have it. But I just wanted to talk about in this video, like how we can check to make sure that we have Ruby. And then I'll also talk a little bit about updating the version of Ruby that you have on your computer. So first thing I want to do is come up here to the search bar and I'm just going to type in terminal. And basically, this will open up the terminal. And the terminal is essentially just a program that allows us to interact with the computer, but using text commands. So inside the terminal, I just want to check to make sure that everything is installed with Ruby. So I'm just going to type out Ruby hyphen V. And this should spit out a version number of Ruby. In my case, I have Ruby version 2.4.2. So as long as you're getting a Ruby version number that's getting printed out onto the screen, then you're good to go. And for the most part, if you're running OS X, you should have some version of Ruby installed on your computer. If you'd like to update this version though, for example, if you have maybe an outdated version of Ruby, I would recommend using a program called the Ruby version manager. And I'm not going to get too into using the Ruby version manager here, but I just wanted to bring it up so that if you are running an outdated version of Ruby, then you'll know kind of what to look for in order to update it. So something called the Ruby version manager, and it's basically a program that you can use to update the current version of Ruby that you have on your computer. So if you're trying to update your current version of Ruby, then use the Ruby version manager. But otherwise, you can basically just use whatever Ruby version that you have installed on OS X in order to follow along with this course. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.